right, for this week's mini guitar lesson, I thought we'd continue our exploration of alternate tunings. Uh, we started this out a couple weeks ago looking at Dadgad, which was tuned from the lowest string to the highest, D, A, D, G, A, D, which gave us some very interesting fingering possibilities, some very interesting possibilities as far as different movable shapes. We continued our exploration last week, which you can check out the link to that one up here, looking at drop tunings. In particular, on this guitar, we were looking at drop C tuning, but also talking about drop D tuning as well. Ah, so this week I thought we'd continue those tunings by looking at some more open tunings. Today we're looking at open D tuning. So let me kick off a little bit of overdrive here so you get a little bit cleaner tone initially and we'll talk about what open D is. An open tuning typically means that you're taking your six string guitar and you're tuning the six strings to where they make a chord when they are strummed openly. So instead of being your typical guitar where it is E, A, D, G, B and E, basically intervals of fifths essentially. Um, with open tunings, we're tuning them all to specific intervals where we get a full chord out of all six strings. So today we're gonna be looking at open D tuning. We'll probably explore some more open tunings in the coming episodes of Everything Guitar. So how do you tune your guitar for open D tuning? We'll start out going across the strings from low to high. Starting with your low string, which is usually an E, we tune that down one full step or two frets to the note D. Probably not a surprise there based on the fact we're talking about open D tuning. The next string, we're gonna tune that, leave that in standard tuning, which is an A. The reason we do that is because in the D major triad, we have three notes. We reviewed this way back on, I believe, episode four of Everything Guitar. I'll put the link to that up here. And in the key of D major, the notes we have are D, A, and an F sharp. Our D is our root or our first, our F sharp is our three or our third, and A is our fifth. So, getting back to our tuning. Our lowest string, tune down one whole step, two semitones to the note D. We leave our fifth string tuned at A, which is, as we just discovered, the fifth in the D major triad. Our fourth string is in standard tuning a D, so we leave that there. That gives us a root, only an octave higher. Now, here, our third string would normally be a G. Remember I said in standard tuning. In this case, though, we tune it down to one semitone or one fret, one half of a step to an F sharp. That gives us our third. So we have a root, a fifth, a root, an octave higher, our third, then we take our second string, which is normally a B, we tune it down two semitones or two frets, a whole step, depending on what term you want to use there, to an A. So instead of being B, this note becomes an A. And then we take our high E, our, our highest pitch string, that's normally an E, and we tune it down also two semitones, a whole step or two frets down to a D. So that gives us low to high, D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D. If we play them all together, we get this really nice open D major chord. Now the cool thing about that, since we're tuned to an open chord, what that means is if you bar all six strings, you can change what chord you're playing with just one finger. So if this is a D, we know from previous episodes, two steps up, or one whole step up, pardon me, two frets up is an E. So if we bar the second fret like this, we get an open E major chord. If we go half step higher, one semitone or one fret, we get an open F major chord. If we jump up two frets, one whole step or two semitones, we get a G as an open chord. Or as a barred chord, I should say. Jumping two more frets would get us an A. Two more would get us a B. One more, a half step, one fret or one semitone would get us a C. Because remember between B and C, it's only one fret, so we go from here, fret nine barred, to fret 10 barred gives us a C major. And then if we jump up to our 12th fret, of course, we get our octave, another G major. So what can you do with that? Well, you can do a lot with that. Obviously, you've got your standard chords there. You can also do things like just play partials on your barred chords, meaning that if we have this open D, if we 
do something like bringing in the third fret on our fourth, third, and second strings, the notes that we're gonna get then, we're going to get an F, we're going to get a A, and we're going to get another, let's see, A, B, we're gonna get another, a C. And if we play that with our open fifth string, our A, we get this really cool tonality. And if you slide that guy up two frets, kind of like the piece you were hearing me play at the start, that chord progression. And then you go back to your D. Another thing you can do, this gives you very interesting opportunities to play some interesting chords with minimal fretting. So we can play something like a G sus4 slash sus2, where you're playing both the fourth and the second. By taking your G, remember I said that we were barring across the fifth fret on all the strings to get our G major. Well, if we use our third finger, our ring finger, on the seventh fret of the fourth string, that gives us an A. And if we use our middle finger on the sixth fret of the third string, then we get this type of tonality. And then if you lift that middle finger, you can have a nice little walk down, something like this. So it almost sounds like an augmented chord. And of course you can move that shape around too. Open D tuning. It's something that I haven't explored a whole lot myself, to be honest. Played around with it a little bit, but as I get into it more, the more cool that tuning sounds. In particular, if you take, put a little bit of grit on the, the guitar tone, and you play some of those open uh, sliding forms, you get a very bluesy type of sound, almost like some old Delta blues type sounding stuff like that. Open D tuning. I hope that gives you some interesting opportunities to explore some different ideas, some different tuning sounds, and some different possibilities on chord progressions and writing in your guitar playing. Make sure to tune in next week. We'll, we'll dive further into some open tunings, looking at some additional keys that we can tune this guitar to in an open tuning to give us some more variety and spice to our playing and our riff and chord progression writing. <laughs>